Hey everyone, welcome back to the food shop. Today we're going to be making the ultimate comfort food classic, the perfect grilled cheese sandwich. Let's go. First, you want to start with your favorite bread. I like to use my homemade sourdough sandwich loaf, but any loaf will do. And as far as cheese goes, today we're going to be using a medium cheddar, an extra sharp cheddar, and an aged gouda. There you go. I got a tip for you. The old fashioned way of using a grater, don't do it. It hurts the knuckles, tears them up. Instead, place the grater on its side, put it in a tray, use your body weight, and couldn't be easier. And just a reminder for you, if any of your cheese has a rind on it, make sure to take that up before you grind it. We don't want that to end up in the sandwich. I don't think that would taste very good. Listen, we're trying to make a great sandwich here, so no rinds, please. We're gonna wind up with about a cup and a half of cheese. Now, you may think that's a little excessive or a little bit too much, but it's just perfect in the end. Now it's time to butter our bread. I like to bring my butter out about 30, 45 minutes beforehand to let it come up to room temperature. This makes spreading the butter very easy along the bread. Make sure you cover the entire slice so that everything is nice and toasty. Now it's time to assemble our sandwich in our non-stick skillet. Place one slice of bread with the butter side down over medium low heat. Now you can add your cheese. Make sure to cover the whole slice, all the corners, don't scrimp. All those little bits that fall off, don't worry about those, those are little treats for the end. Add all your cheese, now we're looking good. Make sure you don't forget any. Next, we want to take our other slice of bread with the butter side up and place it on top of the cheese. It helps to cover your skillet with a lid. This will give the cheese a head start by trapping all that steam inside there. After a few minutes, you can take the lid off and Let's check that bottom to make sure we're not burning that toast. In total, it takes about eight minutes to complete the sandwich. Oh, it's looking good. I can't wait. They're so delicious. 22 billion grilled cheese sandwiches consumed each year in the United States. I can see why it's America's favorite sandwich. Let me know in the comments what your favorite sandwich is. We're just about there. Listen to that toast, nice and crispy. Mm, I can't wait. And there it is, a classic grilled cheese sandwich. This is how you cut a grilled cheese sandwich. Little bit of cheese pull, not too bad. And there you have it, the classic American grilled cheese sandwich done right every time. If you found value in this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribe. And don't forget to comment. Thanks for watching.